Hey guys, welcome back to Owl Creek. I'm Day, and and today we're going to be building a new rabbit hutch. Who's this? <clears throat> Sailor. Is she helping? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Biking her tail. <laughs> Yeah, so today we're working on our rabbit hutch. I've already got started by building part of the structure. These are just some old two by fours that I had left over from a project that I've also done earlier. Um, some extra boards that actually came whenever I had some metal delivered from my barn that I kept, and then our cages that we've built in a previous video. All right, so what we're doing now is we're getting the next structure built. I've laid this out at 30 inches wide, which is the width of the cages. All right, these are just temporary. This support right here is just to keep the width right. So I'm not gonna cut it off and make it flush. Now I'm gonna get another support put on it and it's gonna be permanent. So I'm gonna get that cut to 30 inches also. That way it fits properly. Okay, so I got all my main structure, the boards put together. I've laid out the cage here for the bottom cage. Now I'm going to use this little bracket, this little J-clip bracket that I bought from Kluberton's equipment. I'm going to use these to hang the actual cage on the two by four. This J clip will actually just catch the wire, and that's all that holds the cage up. Okay, so my memory card ended up getting full on me, but what I got done is I put these boards on and what this is going to hold, I've got one on both sides, they are staggered. It's got about a four inch drop to it. I'm gonna actually have metal pans down below my cages that way <clears throat> as they use the bathroom, it all drops down onto here. I'm going to cut this off flush with the board and then I'm going to attach a gutter right here it will catch all the poop and all the urine, and then it will run over to a five gallon bucket, and it will actually end up dropping that way. It's much easier to clean than having to shovel out from underneath it every week or anything like that. I just take a garden hose, and I'll just run up there, and I'll spray on the side there on the metal, and everything will just flow right down into a gutter, and then I can just haul it out and dump it with my bucket. Okay, so now I'll get a board just like this, mounted on the other side. It will be a little bit higher, just like on the bottom rack. And I'll mount my metal and then mount my cage up above that. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I made some small blocks. And I'm actually going to install these on the side rails that the cage is going to be attached to. That way I can pick up the cage with some help and bring it in and just set it on top of these while I get the cage secured. Then later I'll take these blocks off that I've just put on. Okay. 
Okay, so I got all the metal on right as Dayton came out to join me, but now I'm getting ready to go inside. The SpaceX launch is getting ready to take off here in just a few minutes, so we're gonna go watch that and then we'll come back out and get this thing finished up. So that was awesome. We just went and watched the launch. I was a little bit more excited than Dayton was, but either way, pretty cool to see. And really it's a new day for America. And if we ever need some positive vibes today, right now is probably that time. So congrats to SpaceX, to NASA, and really everybody. That was awesome. Anyways, back to the rabbit hutch now. I've got these metal panels secured and marked. I'm gonna come through with my Makita grinder. And I'm gonna cut all those off, get them flush, that way I can get my gutter then mounted down below here. All right, bud, it's gonna get noisy, okay? Good. She's been eating pretty good now. All right, it's all coming together. I've got to get my last piece of metal cut for length for right there in that hole. Then on the front side, I still don't have a door cut in this cage. I've got the door cut here, but I don't have an actual door over the hole yet. Down below, I've got the doors cut, but I don't have doors on yet, except for this side right here these hinge clips i know they're kind of hard to see with all the wire that's just a piece of spring steel that i attach to the door then can close it like that this is kind of what the finished product will look like right here it's got the j box feeder you can pour the feed right in the top go Go right in the top right here, and then they'll have the feed right inside that they can get, get to and access easily. Then you got your door hole that I've lined with this trim. That way it doesn't end up cutting my arms or anything as we're reaching in and out. And if y'all ever wonder why Dayton's in some of my videos and he disappears and he comes back, it's because he's a busy man. He's got a lot of things to do, like keeping his Jeep clean, then driving it through some mud, then getting it clean again. Right, bud? 
<laughs> hey, that's Windex. That's not supposed to be for the fenders, man. What? Nothing. Go ahead. All right, so the last step for our hutch build today is I got this old gutter, it was out of a dumpster. I cut it down to the length that I need. I put end caps on it. Um, they are not crimped the right way. I don't have a crimper. I used some silicone and some vice grips just to squeeze it on there. Now Dayton's gonna help me hold this up. We're gonna get it screwed on and then our hutch will be finished finally. Come here, bud. Hold that in. Right here. Yep. Oh, I just touched that. Yep, that's okay. Here, hold it over here. What is it? It's just silicone. It's all right. Okay, you Does got it? it turn hard? Yep. And it'll be hard. Yeah, it'll be all right. All right, so what I've done here is, as you can see, it's lower on this side than it is on this side. I just put a slope to the gutter. That way it will naturally drain back this way. I'm gonna cut a hole right here in the bottom. <laughs> I'm gonna cut a hole right here in the bottom of the gutter and I'm going to put a down pipe just like you have on your house. That way it drains into a bucket all the time. I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom except it's going to drain over on this side over here. How come though? I did it that way, that way I can have a bucket over there, buddy. And then I can have a bucket over here. And each side will always automatically drain. And then I can take a garden hose and I can just spray it off whenever it gets built up or anything and clean it really super easy. Hi, buddy. He's goofy. All right, you ready to wrap this video up, bud? Sure. Do I... This it. Yep, go ahead. Thanks for joining us today, and please subscribe to our channel. Bye!